In this segment, I am going to talk about succession. It's a ecological word. Succession is very, very important for speciation and proliferation of life on our planet. Actually, all life forms are the result of succession. Man is the result of 4.5 billion years story of cosmic succession. Nature is constantly undergoing and recovering from disturbances both small and big. Communities change over time in a process called succession. Fossil records reveal the stories of some of the dominant species who were the result of succession, such as trilobites, placoderms, dinosaurs, and saber-toothed lions. Now they are extinct anyway. Dinosaurs cleared the way for mammals, the latest species of succession. Last man appeared on Earth as a result of succession. While primary succession, the development of life in a lifeless landscape may take thousands or millions of years, but secondary succession takes place all the time over the course of decades, years, or even months. Secondary succession defines the recovery of life after a natural or man-made disturbance to an ecosystem. An example of uh, secondary succession occurs when agricultural land is abandoned. Over several years, it will proceed through predictable stages of milkweed and bramble to a second growth forest of dense but narrow trunk trees. Secondary succession occurs after a variety of disturbances, after a flood washes away trees and deposits silt, or a fire burns through a swath of forest. In each case, the land will recover relatively quickly and in stages. Small, hardy weeds and grasses will spring up first out of the mud or charcoal to be joined by flowering perennials, then sun-loving shrubs, some of which may eventually be shaded out by tree. Communities are frequently disturbed to varying intensity by storms, rock slides, floods, and other events. Succession can take many paths when disturbances eliminate some populations or species, the remaining survivors might return or colonizers from adjacent region could migrate in. Fires are an immensely destructive force, but out of this fiery destruction comes ecosystem rejuvenation. By creating clearing, fires reboot succession allowing different species to colonize the area. However, human force has been a big obstacle for cosmic succession. When a natural disturbance, a volcanic eruption, or a glacial retreat, for example, creates space for new life, new communities develop in a somewhat predictable sequence, but human disturbance fail to re reboot succession. Human disturbance fail to reboot succession, driving all life to the edge of extinction. Anthropocentric motives fueled by greed continue to destroy animal habitats and ecosystems in the name of industrialization and modernization. Progress. As humanity multiplies like flies, more land is required for agriculture and housing, such a demand wipes out even a dream of secondary consumption, succession. 
Our future depends on secondary succession. Man himself was the result of the latest succession, which happened after the extinction of dinosaurs. If man wants to maintain his succession, he has to craft his future on the terms of the ecological principle of succession, allowing other species to flourish on which he depends if he fails to reboot secondary succession primary succession will wipe out humanity from the face of the earth after millions of years primary succession will give birth to variety of new species and earth will continue without homo sapiens goodbye